Huh? How did I lose to Scout? This isn't the PvP I remember. Do you remember PvP? It's been removed from the game for over three years now. There's only been a few leaks on it returning, with the last one being basically two years ago. So putting the matter of if it's coming back aside for now, why did it fail in the first place? Let's get right into it. But before that, consider subscribing, that intro took 15 hours of my life, thanks, enjoy the video. So problem number one is the most well known one, lack of players. It was just not that great of a mode for players to grind coins on, as you only really get anything if you won. And if people lost, guess what they do? They don't play again. Skill issue. This led to a cycle where most players would rather go for more efficient farming methods, like getting carried by better players in survival modes, such as Molten, Golden, and of course Fallen. There was also the added bonus of having to play maps to get the Platinum crates, which could not be done in PvP, but I doubt it had that much of an effect, to be honest. Personally, I think one of the factors was also TDS' player base. This is just a hunch, but I'm guessing TDS players were a lot less competitive on release, as from what I assume, the majority came from simulator games due to it being in the simulator genre. This led to them being new to the tower defense genre as a whole, which could have led to a low demand on PvP. Even the small amount of players who wanted to play PvP were usually going to have to wait a bit for players to join as well. Now I think the less obvious but most important problem was the incentive to play PvP. Bragging about trophies was basically the only reason to play it in terms of rewards. There just wasn't any PvP exclusive content to really entice players to try it out. Tower battles meanwhile had Golden Scout and Golden Commando which were awarded upon reaching 150 and 250 trophies respectively. So those interested in PvP could have also been more interested in playing tower battles when looking to play PvP. There were even tournaments to win Huntsman which really attracted the competitive players to tower battles as it was a huge bragging right, I know cause like I played in it, I'm good, I know, I think, thank you, thank you. There was also the issue of unbalanced teams and by this I mean it in two ways. Firstly, you were not matched against people your own level as matchmaking did not exist at the time making it quite unenjoyable for new players to try as you were basically guaranteed to lose like what, what do you do now the other one is that you could literally have uneven teams with a 1v4 being possible making odds of winning basically impossible unless you were an admin or something which would be kind of funny but yeah there was also the problem of ult farming since tds did not have matchmaking at the time people would just get ults and farm coins effortlessly okay so basically it sucked how would the developers fix it though? Well, they've already fixed alt farming if they make it a matchmaking exclusive mode, so that's already a good implementation. A less effective but simple fix could also just be a level requirement for PvP. Now, personally, I find metas boring in PvP. Everyone using the same strategy can get pretty repetitive after a while, but I think there's an easy fix to this. They can add a randomized loadout PvP system to make games more chaotic. This would make the game a lot more replayable and exciting as you can't predict what's going to happen. Imagine even having a small chance to have mecha base in your loadout. No complaints here. Every game you'd have to strategize on how to use your randomized towers, making you actually use your brain. Whoa. Then the last key to this would be the actual rewards. Now sure, skins would be cool, but what about PvP exclusive rewards that actually make you want to play it, opposed to survival? PvP exclusive towers instantly come to mind, which would be cool, but what about branching out even further to PvP exclusive abilities that give a slight advantage? Imagine a one-timed ability that spawns soldiers on the road to support you, or an ability that sends zombies to the enemy side for free, or maybe even an ability to eliminate an enemy tower? Uh, okay, maybe not that one. There's so much creativity that can be poured into PvP, where you'll never be able to guess how the next game is gonna play out. Now, this is just a theory, but I have a hunch that if TDS is gonna add PvP, it's gonna be on the big update at the end of this year. But hey, what do you think? Consider subscribing and see you on the next one.